Hillel says, Imein anili mili, if I am not for myself, who will be with me? Uchshanilatsmi moani, and when I am only by myself, what am I? Bimloyachshav emosai, and if not now, when? And the usual translation about this is, is that whenever I try to to do something, I have to be involved myself and I have to push it with all of my heart because if I will not push it with all of my heart, nobody will come along with me. And then I have to seek out help from others. But I think that there's another message that's over here and this is something that has to be stated before Rosh Hashanah and it's something that all people, including potential presidents, can actually learn. What Hillel is saying is, if I don't deal with myself, then who will deal with myself? Who will be able to take um, uh, my mes message without feeling that I may be suspect? If I wish to be an influencer, then I have to take myself as the first candidate of the change that I'm espousing before I go ahead and ask other people to do things that are uncomfortable I must first do it myself that's what it means in Mein Anili if I don't take myself seriously if I don't go ahead and deal with myself then who is going to help me with this and then who is going to ever listen to me because if I'm not an example of the things that I espouse then I'm just a false mouthpiece. I'm a talker, but I'm not a doer. I'm someone who, do, who says, do as I say, not as I do. But if I wish to be a true channel, a true agent of changing things around, I have to be consistent. I have to start with myself. If I start with myself, then I can think about changing the rest of the world. That's what it says when I've done finally what I have to do I can't be satisfied that I've accomplished but I have to Mo'ani, what am I alone? I'm in a world I have to change the world as much as I can remember the first mission that God sends Moshe Rabbeinu to Mitzrayim he sends Moshe to save the Jewish people, to give them the Torah, to change the world, to change the whole purpose, the whole direction of creation. And what happens? The first moment that Moshe Rabbeinu is found at a hotel, an angel comes and wishes to swallow him and kill him. How come? Because Moses, Moshe, did not do what he had to do at the appropriate time. And this is strange. He's coming from the most important mission. Is that important? Is God so picky with the little details that if he misses a second of doing a positive commandment that he should be killed? And the answer is, if you are on a mission to do God's will, to get people to listen to God, then you have to be the most receptive of your own mission, of your own statements. If we must listen to what God says, and you are the agent of those statements, you must be the paragon, you must be the paradigm, you must be the example that people follow, that people can see. And if you are not that way, then you will not be effective. You cannot be the channel for God not listening to God. And that is a lesson that perhaps all of us can learn from on this Rosh Hashanah, that in order to change the world, we must first change ourselves. And then in changing ourselves, we must care about the world. We must see what we can do to change and help the world. But first, do something in it to ourselves. And then, then Hillel concludes with this, and if not now, when? Why is he saying that? Because we all want to change. We all want to become better. We all 
have a desire to do certain things in our lifetime. We know that there are certain things that we haven't done yet that we would like to do. Some of us would like to become more learned in Torah. Some of us would like to do more mitzvahs. Some of us would like to keep the Sabbath or go to a synagogue or put on to fill it on a daily basis. Some of us would like to go ahead and give tzedakah on a daily basis. But we somehow or other find it not in the uh, present mode. We're just involved in too many different things to change. It will says, the time is now. Don't wait. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow may not come. Today is the time to change. And now is the time to change. Before Rosh Hashanah is the time to effect changes within ourselves. We don't have to wait for New Year's resolutions. Resolutions should take place when we think about the things that we need to change. And now is the time.